Hello everybody, in this lesson we'll be having a look at your first Hello World program in assembly. In this lesson, using the information we have learnt, I'll teach you how to create your first Hello World program in assembly. The first, pro uh, the, the first step is to open DOSBox. Now type edit hw.asm. So if we go and we open up DOSBox, no console, wait for this to open, alright so we're all ready. And now we type edit uh, what is it, hw? Yeah, hw.asm. Okay, as you see, I've already written mine, but let me just uh, go ahead and uh, delete all that. Okay, the first step is to uh, is to type. Okay, so we just understand. Okay, so dot model uh, small. <coughs> I'll comment this later and stuff, so what it all means. Now the next step, dot stack 100h. Next, uh, we go uh, dot data, add four spaces. Now we type hw, as so now we're gonna type hw underscore msg db. Now comma, zero ah, zero dh, and finally, a dollar sign. Add a couple lines. Now we do dot code. Now we can go uh, hw proc. Okay, and finish it with a matching end hw. And so I might do hw underscore proc. Now we type end. I think that's it. Oh wait, sorry, sorry, no, I made a mistake. Here we go, uh, so we proc uh, end p. Okay, what this is defining is we're defining hw underscore proc as a procedure. <coughs> now then down here we're just ending a procedure. End tells the assembler not to read any more, of the, uh, any more stuff under here. Okay, I'll go through everything in a minute. <coughs> go down here, one, two, three, four, add a couple lines to make it neat. Now we type mov ax at data mov ds ax. <coughs> We're not able to do this to here uh, directly, so we'll just we have to do this. A couple lines. We'll go mov ah09 or 9, it really doesn't matter. <coughs> lea dx hw underscore msg. <coughs> interrupt 21h. Note the h is, is very important here otherwise it will not execute properly. Now we'll go mov ah 04ch and interrupt 21h again. Okay. Okay, so basically I'm going to tell you what everything does. I'm going to comment it. <coughs> Comments are defined with a semicolon. Anything after that on the current line will not be read by the assembler. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. So dot model uh, is a directive. The directive is something that is read by the assembler. It is not an assembly. Uh, it is not a uh, an instruction that is able to be read by the CPU. Dot model defines how many. It, it sort of defines how many segments we have. So in a small model we have one data and one code segment. Okay, down here we have our stack, this uh, dot stack, sorry. This is also a directive. This defines how much stack, uh, how, okay, how large our stack is for our program. In this case it is 100h or in decimal 256 bytes. Uh, this is basically, okay, I'll, the, the stack will be explained a little later. Um, <coughs> dot data. This is another directive. Uh, this is our data. It defines the data segment. <coughs> da the data segment is basically uh, contains initialized data. So basically, when the program starts, all all this will be initialized. <coughs> dot code. Yet another. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot forgot this line. Hw underscore msg is a label without the colon. Uh, DB is uh, defined bytes. 
uh, so all this is that's going to be embedded into the uh, into the executable. Hello world, string literal. Now when you're defining bytes, um, you can <clears throat> you can use a comma to separate. Uh, well, it's kind of like adding. You've got H W. Hello world, sorry. We're adding zero A H, zero D H, and a dollar sign. So basically, <clears throat> zero A H and zero D H are ASCII codes. <clears throat> this is for a line feed, and this is for your uh, your new line. So these two combined is basically a new line. Just remember that. The dollar sign is a string terminator for the DOS API uh, when A H is nine. Now down here, code. This is basically defines our code segment. <coughs> HW underscore proc proc. This is again another uh, another um, directive, um, basically defining a procedure. Mov AX at data. This gets our segment address and shoves it into AX <coughs> because it's initialized data, so we can do that. Mov DS uh, comma AX. This basically these two lines here initialize the data segment. <coughs> Mov AH9 uh, moves uh, 9 into AH, copies it so. LEA, load effective address, gets the address of HW underscore MSG where this label currently is and shoves that into DX. <coughs> I'll explain this a little later. Please note that DX is a 16 bit register and there's more than 16. Wait, hang on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, okay, never mind. Um, and then we got mov ah 4 ch Very important that you put the H there, by the way, on both of these. <coughs> oh, sorry. Interrupt 21. Basically, uh, interrupt 21 is calling the DOS API. There are more interrupts than 21, like 16, uh, 10 BIOS interrupts and stuff like that. Um, but that's this 21H is basically the DOS API. AH04CH, uh, this is basically uh, for the um, for terminating the program and inter interrupt 21 calls the DOS API, the DOS API sees this, okay we've got to terminate. NP ends the procedure, HW underscore proc and N tells is another directive which, directive, which tells the um, the assembler not to read anymore. Okay. Go ahead and save that. Now we type masm. Please make sure that you're in the root where your masm executable is. Okay. And type masm hw semicolon. Here we're able to see our output. So if you've got any errors in your program, they'll appear here and this will tell you whether they're a warning or an error. Don't get confused between warnings and errors. Warnings are basically um, things that will not... The program will still compile, but it won't... It may not behave as you want it to, I guess you could say, maybe. Okay. Anyway, and then, then go... This generates an OBJ file, so then we go link HW. Basically, putting the semicolon there tells the, uh, tells the program, masm.exe or link.exe, to, to 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 make the executive decision and look for the dot obj and look for the dot. Oh wait, sorry, never mind, never mind. Sorry, the semicolon tells it not to give us any prompts. It just tells us to leave it everything as default. We don't need to put the dot asm because it automatically thinks to when using a dot asm or a dot obj for link. <coughs> this links it. Uh, no, no output there. No errors. Last step is to type hw. Hello world. Alright, and that concludes this tutorial on our first Hello World program. Uh, more concepts will be dis uh, described more in depth in later tutorials. Thanks for listening.